Hi, on this video we're gonna be looking at this workbook. Now, this workbook is a uh, similar to active workbook. The only difference is this workbook is always going to be the workbook that the code is written in. So without further ado, go ahead and click Alt F11 and it'll kick you over to your Visual Basic Editor. Now I've got this open. I've already got a module created. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our sub. So we're gonna call this sub this work book intro because that's what we're doing and before we get into the this workbook code that we would do in a module I just want to show you a couple things we do know that this workbook is here this is an object and we're actually going to put some code in here in a little bit um, but that is how you kind of always visually know that this workbook is always the workbook that the code lives in or the code that you're running lives in because you can actually have an active workbook that, but it's not actually the active workbook that you created. So keep that in mind. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna write some message boxes um, for the most popular um, properties and methods. So we're gonna go this workbook dot name, and that is a very, very popular one. So we're just gonna go F8, and it's going to give us the actual file name for which I have VBA workbook properties of this workbook dot XLSM. Next one we're going to do is we're going to go message book MSG box this workbook dot file format. Now this is actually kind of important. Uh, I'm going to hit F8 again. Um, I'm going to skip over that. I'm just going to drag that down. And it's going to give us 52. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot, but it is going to uh, be important when we use save as. Uh, so 52 is the actual XLSM file format. Next message box is going to be MSG box this workbook.path. Now, path is a cool one. Again, F8 drag this down to the path and it's going to tell us what the path is. Now this is actually where my file currently lives. It's in that, that's the folder path. The next one that we're going to do is grab this whole thing. Instead of path we're going to do full name. Now this sounds a little weird um, and it actually kind of is, but if you go down to full name it's going to give you the actual full name or full path and the name of that workbook. And with that, we're going to go into our methods. So this workbook.save, um, all that's going to do is it's going to save the file. So if I hit F8, it will actually save the file. The file has now been saved. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, double click into this workbook, and I'm gonna show you a couple things. I need to end this real quick couple things on this workbook uh, that you should know if you're coding uh, in Visual Basic. So first thing you got is workbook. You'll notice that this is a workbook on open. So if I had a message box here and I've got a couple that I've just kind of written out, this is going to, uh, if I save this, what's going to happen is when I open this workbook, it's going to run a message box that says run on open. Now you wouldn't necessarily do that per se, but you may actually do some other things. Um, so if we had we're going to do before save and we're going to put something here and this message is going to be basically fairly similar but it's going to be run before save and then we're going to do one more which is before close and then we will be done before save before close same thing here. Now, these may be important if you've got checklists or you've got things that you need to do before you save something or before you close something just to make sure that you've done something right or if you need to refresh your macros, something like that. So we've got these built. What these are gonna do is we're gonna head over here. We're gonna hit F8. We're gonna go through these message boxes because they're fun. And then you'll also notice that we've got that run before save that just said, hey, we've got an issue here. Um, before we save it, we're gonna run it. And we've ran that macro. So once it got here, what it did is it kicked over to this workbook. 
It said, wait, this is before save, and it saved that file. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to close the workbook in, the mat in this video, and it says run before close. It's going to save, and we are good.